Dollar right the do ya thing so Alright, just a few words about safety. Although really the plastics that you would inject the in, you know, bench top uh machine like that is typically uh relatively safe. You know, polypropylene, polyethylene, uh different thing like that is nowhere near a toxic a uh PVC. But definitely still always a good idea anytime you're dealing with plastic fumes of any type to just wear you a respirator. I just wanted to give you a little look at what I use right there. That's for organic vapor. Uh, you don't want to just throw you on a dust mix, you know. And this is the other thing I'm working on right here. Uh, not an expert in, uh, you know, aerodynamics, but uh, let's see, basically, that right there, a little some trouble could fam. Draw the air in right there. Go up there and come in through that right there. And as you can see, that's capped off back there. All right, so the air does not come out the other end. You know, the more cleaner air is going to come out of that unit right there. And that activated carbon up in there. Them fumes are going to help to absorb that. And then just hopefully uh, be putting clean air back up out into here. But I got the idea for that set up right there by looking at uh, what they're doing over at Precious Plastics. They got plans for uh, extruders, for injection machine if you want to. And they give you some ideas about fume uh, extractions. And so, you know, I know that can be improved. Uh, but that's a start for me right now. The other day I was thinking about pearl beads. I wonder if you can uh, theoretically inject your mold pearl beads, all right? And then I said, you know what? I'd, I'd probably need to research in that yada set around. And I just never did anything with it. And then I was up on Instagram looking at uh, my messages and I talked to a fellow crafter and she mentioned that pearl beads and polyethylene. And so I said, hold up. And so I just took me a scoop of them and put them in the hopper. And that was my first results right there. You know, like they say, beauty is in the eye of the one uh, looking at it, whatever it is they're looking at. But I said, you know, let's uh, let's try to get some consistent color. Let's see if we can do that. If you just mix some color, then you're going to get mixed color of uh, plastic parts, all right? So, you know, I got hold to me uh, some already compartmentalized. Uh, and as you can see, I done used all these, but you know, let me just get one particular color, all right, and do that just to see how consistent it will be. And so you can get a consistent solid color. All uh, you got to do is use the same pearl of bead, all right. But look at this right here. My favorite thing that I did was when I mixed just, you know, four, five, just select a, a color that would be pleasing together. Look at this right here. I thought that was pretty neat right there this color combination but now this one i have to say this one right here is my all-time favorite with the pearl of bead you uh, know let's get some light up in there let's see i don't know if y'all can see that real good but uh that look like galaxy color right up to me i thought that's pretty neat that was some uh that's some glitter pearl of bead some purple some blue it has some uh, translucent blue color. I like how them turn down. But I can already hear what you're telling me. Craft man, pearl of bees is going to be way more expensive for injection mode. Come on now. Going to be a lot more economical just to buy, uh, you know, y'all plastic this way right here. And this is both. A uh, low density polyethylene yellow. If Crab Man wanted a particular color, I can pay somebody to give me that color just exactly like I want it, you know. 
You know, so let's say I want me a very particular art, a real poppy. It's going to be a poppy art, you know. And I go to one of these companies and they say, all right, so you're getting ready to order two tons of that color. I said, what? Two tons. And I realized that company would have a, a minimum. That just makes sense. You know, you don't, a company ain't going to make you a particular color and you to buy 50 pounds of or something like that. You know, that's not going to really happen. So what they do, they make you buy about two tons of it. All right, and that's different. That's just one company. The last one I talked to was two times. But what you have to do is go on eBay, and that's where you can get uh, your smaller quantities, but still it's going to be bulk because you're still going to be buying probably 10 pounds, 20, 5, 50 pounds, you know, but way, way cheaper than trying to have your own batch of color made up. All right. What you end up getting is colors from somebody else's batch, all right, that they did not use all of them. And then it ends up being a, you know, surplus. However, I want to share those with you. All right, Craftman was able to make some real bright arm, uh, little robots like that. Look at that, flexible. And they are, they're very bright arm, popping, popping, popping. And so that was accomplished using a color powder. Let me show you that. All right, now this right here, I don't know if you can feel that, but that is, some squishy little pellets there, right? See that? Let me see if I can show this up close. And so you can make your uh, uh, clear flexible thing with it. But also you can buy uh, powder pigments, all right? And all you got to do is take your plain pellets and put it in a container and put your powder up in there with it. And then just shake it around, shake it around. And it's going to be a mess, by the way. This powder going to get everywhere. But what's going to happen is that you wind up with a bag of Cheetos. Look at that. My final process would be put these in a sifter and let that powder on the bottom fall through the sifter and just reuse it, you know. But we just took us some clear pellets and now we got us some bright arm pellets. And then from there, we can make a little arm. A uh, robot arm and look at that. Pretty tough. And this is a thermoplastic elastomer TPE, in case anybody wondering. Thermoplastic elastomer, aka a TPE, right there. And so, uh, that stuff is real, real tough. Uh, it's got a good spring activity to it. And so what I said was, I wonder if I could take some of these pellets right to mix it with that powder. What's going to happen? It was not the best result, you know, but I did try that. Uh, maybe if I could have used more powder, more orange powder, you know. Uh, although I could not get it to work quite as well with that. It works really good with a clear thermoplastic glass to my translucent. Uh, I also work with a uh, uh, polyurethane natural right there. So, just, if you're interested in coloring your palettes. And I just want to be sure that I'm clear that I don't mislead somebody about, you know, if you say I want to make uh, me some little figure and I want to use them pearly beads right there, typically it's going to be more expensive to uh, do that. All right. Some pearly bead colors you can get in bulk and you can get at a pretty good price, you know. But even then, it's still going to be uh, probably more expensive than just buying you some, you know, some uh, polyethylene pellets in bulk, you know. And some of these particular colors, they come in packets, you know. You can't really uh, buy them individually, from what I could tell. Uh, the little special one, like that translucent with little sparkles in it. But, you know, if you want to do a limited run of your little character and you say, I want just maybe a few of these to be real uh, special, different looking, give them a little galaxy out of space look, you know, something. Then, pearl beads might be worth considering. All right. All right, now for anybody curious of uh, how many of uh, these robots I was able to get out of a thousand pearl beads, uh, that's what you're looking right there. But you're always going to have the transition area, you know, when you go from one color to the next. Uh, my recommendation is that whenever you get ready to uh, injection mode, you stick with one color long as you can before you change colors. All right.
And by the way, uh, I have received uh, quite a few little uh, questions, comments. Uh, you know, the people asking, Carol, grab me. How can I buy me one of these? How can I get them uh, from your list? I don't see them uh, listed up on the. Uh, I do not sell these, and uh, we will not be selling these. What, uh, what these are going to be is uh, because, number one, you know, that's the uh, maker buy. I did not design that, you know. I was gracefully given the mold for the, and so that's why come I just been making, uh, that's why come I been just making these things. And so what I do with these is, anytime somebody orders something from Etsy, excuse me, from my Etsy shop, I just put them up in the, I say, you know, depending on, you know, what it is now. If it's an envelope, you know, let's say you order you a sticker and it's going to ship to you in a flat envelope where, you know, we have tried to send y'all some free things before in the envelope and the mail machine to tear that thing out or something happened along the way and it get a big old hole tore up in. Uh, long story short, if it's something that we put in a box or a bag or uh, thick, you know, then we're going to throw you some uh, robots up in there for free. That's just a little... A little fun, a little extra, you know. And so, you know, you might get the little squishy one. Watch out. Oh, yeah. Like I said, long as the mold in the envelope, I would like to send everybody, uh, everybody some of these, you know. Uh, even if it's just, a, even if you do all the one step in the envelope, I would like to do that. I just, you know, it has been disappointing in the past. So, uh, only we can send that with packages. Now some good news, uh, hopefully good news on uh, a figure that we're going to hopefully be doing, uh, releasing for sale, is the uh, Agua, and you know, uh, that's the size, that 48 millimeter is the original size that I sculpted it in, and uh, this one a little bit, this one been hanging out in my workshop, got a little dust down it, but but uh, anyway, I'm having me a, a, a professional mode a machine so that we can use it long, long time, hopefully, hopefully. And so that's the uh, size of the original agua right there, suitable for injection mode. And if things go like I hope they go, then that means I can be able to uh, hopefully manufacture a good manner of the way more than I did when I was resin casting, you know. I had my 3D file of that sent off to a couple of uh, mold makers. And both of them said, uh, you know, that's an STF file craft, man. I need a solid file, STP, a step file. I, I don't think I can do that. But I had a young man volunteer steps up and said, craft man, I would like to take a, a whack at that. And he been sending me some progress pictures. Do we have some progress pictures that we can show? All right. Like that right there. So hopefully we're going to be doing this a little agua release and uh, hopefully not too distant future. So hang with me. All right. As I have uh, discussed briefly and show y'all, you know, making y'all own mold is absolutely possible. But if you got something that you want to keep on casting, casting long term and last you a long time, uh, you know, obviously metal going to be the way to go. And so, like the video said, this just been a, a shop live update, basically, that I wear things at with Craftsman. Uh, this is some uh, Spaceman that you can look at right there. And let me do this with the last right here. Let's see. So, hopefully the safety information was useful to you. Uh, Y'all may have some comments for me about my fume extraction. I know this is very, very simple. It's just a three-part uh system y'all have some grace with me please about that you know i'm trying to figure that out all right but if you have some ideas for me let me know you know and i'm going to put a link in the description to the ss shop i want to emphasize that anything ordered off a of teespring is 100 percent uh that's subscribe uh what i'm trying to say that's fulfilled by them 100 percent so unfortunately we can't get the package and put something in it you know like these little robots right there. But if you order from my S and it's bigger than an envelope, then we're going to throw you a robot up in there, all right? Uh, to be honest, I need to get rid of some of these robots, so uh, I'd be more than happy to throw you back. You know, to throw you more than one, more than two, uh, sometime more than three. If you order multiple t-shirts, for example, you know, for your family, then 
Uh, and if you have kids, especially, let me know in your little notes to the uh, seller. And uh, my wife handled the orders, but she called me in when it's time to say, uh, what would you like to send to them? And I go through and I pick things, you know. You know, let me know if you got a, a young man, young woman that, you know, have likes a certain color. And I try to make that happen, all right. Uh, speaking of color, I always like the color. A uh, copperhead right there from G.I. Joe, look at that. And y'all hang with me, the next bit are going to be real exciting. I can't tell you a bunch about it, uh, but it's going to be uh, probably 15 minutes long, though. But uh, anyway, I love y'all. Hey, keep on. Instead of crazy. All right.